Hi everybody, I'm MIP from MIPSCAN and I'm bringing you this little video blog or video post today um, to show off the uh, Prada, whoop, got a little uh, Prada uh, cell phone which is not uh, available really in Canada. You can purchase it in Canada but none of the carriers officially uh, carry this phone and um, this is an unlocked version that a uh, colleague of mine uh, has picked up and uh, uh, been gracious enough to let me uh, try that out. Um, I think this phone is a good example of what is to come from something like the iPhone. Um, it's a touch, uh, touch screen with only a, a few buttons here on the bottom for um, sending a call and ending a call and sort of your home button. And then the screen itself is a touch screen that uh, you're able to use. So for instance, if I touch uh, here, change my, uh, my um, set of items that I can use. Uh, we've got uh, PIM applications for uh, calendar and alarm clocks and whatnot. Uh, we've got up here, oops, let's try that again here. There we go. I've got my uh, web browser, I've got uh, dialing, if I click the dialing one then I get my dialing pad where I can actually dial the number. Very nice interface, um, uh, very responsive, uh, easy to use, a gorgeous looking uh, display, I know that might be a little hard to tell uh, just here with a video recording. Um, it's a very sleek device, um, it's got a built in radio, it's also got a built in camera uh, in the back here. Uh, um, if I go into camera mode, actually the way that is utilized, and I, I really like this feature, is click camera, whoops, and you are then uh, able to turn it like this, so I would be standing behind the viewfinder, and I'd sort of be looking at you like that to take a picture, so it's kind of like holding a real digital camera with a nice big display, there I am on the back now, um, it could also shoot video this way. It's a two megapixel camera and uh, does a very nice job, I find, of uh, uh, taking pictures and whatnot. Got a voice recorder built into it as well, uh, email, web browsing. The only drawback I find is that they didn't build in a QWERTY keyboard. So when you go to, uh, to type, um, you're using the, the standard sort of cell phone keys that uh, you've got to sort of click, uh, you know, one, two, or three times to get the letter of your choice. And it's a bit puzzling to me. I mean, with a, a soft interface like we've got here, um, it's puzzling to me as to why they wouldn't just give a, a soft QWERTY keyboard that you could use uh, for typing. Uh, but all in all, I love this, uh, this phone, and I think it's encouraging as to what the iPhone uh, will be like when it's out. So thanks very much. Um, uh, to my colleague for uh, letting me uh, show this on my blog.